What's up, everybody? This is uh, Nashley coming to y'all with an, uh, a tutorial that a lot of people been asking me. I have a lot of fighting friends on YouTube, so I'm going to help y'all out how to play with martial law and do almost all his juggles, but not all, but most of them. And um, first things first, I like to get out the way is to my clan members. I know most of you is like, man, Lee, what's up with your Xbox? So uh, right now I am online, but I'm offline because I want to do this tutorial before I start playing Gears or whatnot. And I'm going to show to my clan, you know, Looney, Predator, Sin, Bushido, which, whoever. I'm going to show y'all my Xbox. So, as you can see, there's my Xbox 360. You can see my favorite game right there, Street Fighter 4 on it. Reuse Hado Lightning. And in front of it, you'll see Marcus Phoenix of Gears of War. I'll lift it up a little because I have the 360 on. Ooh, I just scratched my disc. But, yep, well, I'll bring the light down. There you have it. Marcus Phoenix of the Gears of War faceplate. So that's my 360. Uh, right now, I was playing Skate. As you can see, I am playing Skate for the time being. I'll just show y'all a little shit that I know so far. I just recently got the game, the game is fun as hell, and I hate skateboarding, but this shit is tough. This is what I know so far. <laughs> That's all I'm pretty good with. Um, but this is not what I am doing for this tutorial. This tutorial is for people who need help on Tekken. So, this is what you need to be required with. You need a PlayStation 2 controller or a PlayStation 3 controller with a pretty good D-pad. With a pretty good D-pad, see? It has to be well good and used. Uh, as you see right here, Tekken 4 and 5. Make sure you have both of those. And now we want to get this tutorial quickly and started. So let's do this. Tekken 5 is on the other TV. <laughs> um, but, uh, first things first, before people who like to use martial law, you have to have Tekken 4. But you really don't have to. Uh, you don't have to have Tekken 4. All you need is Tekken 5 or Tekken 4 to do his moves. But the thing is, they didn't put on Tekken 5 was they took some out. They took some of his um, move set that was on 4. They didn't even put it on 5. So these are for the people who need help playing with law. I know people who will be watching this video and they know how to play with law, but there's no point of you watching it because you know how to play with. But it's only for the people who don't know how to play with martial law. So like I'm saying, um, this right here is for the people who don't know how to do what they call a dragon sign stance or something where he mixes moves up and he could do a flying kick or a dragon cannon or the dragon punch you know all that is at what nature so make sure you require with a playstation 2 or playstation 3 like i said and i'll repeat it again this is Tekken 5 for the playstation 2 for the ps3 i can find a way on how to do that also so I'm gonna go to practice. This is four.
Now, if you paid attention to martial law's moves on this game, you know this game showed you 5% of juggles. So what you do is you press start on your controller and you go to command list. Hit right on the directional pad to skip the list. Now when you go up, you see it says sample combo 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. If you push X on those, those will show you how to do that particular move. See? Now, on this game, here's the combo people will want to, wanted to try to do. That's one of them. How he did that was Dragon Sign Stance. And here's the other one. See, that move they did is called Dragon Sign Stance. For you to completely do that, you have to push back and forward as quickly as pa possible. It's really easy and really simple. Back forward. Now I'm going to put in Tekken 5 and show you how you do it. Alright, well, while the game is uh, loading, this is what I'm going to show you. Make sure, like I said, you have a memory card for your your Law, so don't make him look crappy, because Law is a really good character. He's like the next Bruce Lee, but just take out the flip kicks, and he's completely Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee barely does them all. I take that back. I don't think he does them. So, like I said, on the process of this, what you want to do is, is you want to push back, forward, back, forward, X. Or triangle, or circle. Now I'm going to go to practice mode with law. Now, as you see, law, that's my law I've recently made. Now, for the combo that you're trying to do is when people got their button set, you know this stance, that's a dragon sign stance. And when you push X after that, you do that kick. Or you push X and circle at the same time, you do this. But for me, and for people who don't know how to do it, this is what you don't even have to do that. Once you launch your opponent in the air, you can just keep pushing back and forward, back and forward as fast as possible. Because like I said, Law is a predictable character. And you can see what half of this shit is coming. So here's a juggle that I'm going to show you that I recently know how to do now. Oh, I fucked up. Okay, see. Now that right there is a dragon sign stance. After that, you can either do a kick or a punch. But like I said, you gotta do it fast. Like that. That's the dragon size stands out for kick. You don't have to push down and punch and, and uh, two punches just to do that. You can just push kick, kick, and then back forward. See? Now here's the other one. That's, I missed that, but that's what you call the flying kick. Damn, I can't even get that. And there's another one. There you have it. That's how you do uh, martial law kick. It's completely back, forward, back, forward, X, circle, or forward and triangle. Like this. You do that punch. See? I don't even have to press down. I didn't press these two buttons at the same time. And when you get up, he automatically does it. Oh, and here's another one that I'm recently trying to work on right now. Uh, I can't even get that one. Damn. It's another combo right there. Quickly press forward, forward, X, I mean triangle, square, and X. Like that. But like I said, this for only for the people who don't know how to do the dragon sign thing. That's it right there. After that, you can pretty much just own them with any move. So just keep this in mind. Back, forward, back, forward after these two kicks called the Shaolin kicks. After that, keep pushing back forward. That's it. So, I hope this tutorial helps for people who don't even know how to play with martial law. So, but um, this is uh, Master Lee.
And I guess I am signing out. And also one more thing. Uh, if anybody else like to learn how to play with other characters like Jin or whatnot, I'll actually show you how to do his fast ass uppercuts. Like I said, you gotta have a really good D pad to do all that. But um and the next tutorial will be on Street Fighter Third Strike on how to parry really, really easy. But uh this is Master Lee signing off.